Okay, so welcome everybody to, well, the hunt for the secret ending. Something involving all the uh, Pat Nico statues that you can find within the game. Now there's 20 of them, and I'm basically going to show you where they all are, and kind of what order to take them in. I say order, there's no real order, but some of them only appear at certain times within the game. And basically, if you just follow this, the order in which I play the game, you should be easily be able to find them as well. Probably explain that horribly, but I'm sure you'll get the idea. Basically, find all the cats. There's also little extra things you might need to do as well, but I'll cut that in as well. So here we go. Quest for the cat ending. Begin. So we have our first kitten. Boom. On our first visit to Kamakura. And just up ahead we have our second one. Ah, just like that. 18 to go. Third kitten is right here as you enter the house of the old Kamakura woman. And in the hospital is kid number four. You can get it even through the screen, but keep in mind, once the scene is over, you won't be able to get this kitten easily, so make sure you click on it quickly. And the next one is, as you might notice, in the corner of uh, Ito's office. The next one can be found here. I'm not sure if you can get it after you pull the um, fire alarm or emergency alarm or after you knock this guy out. I wouldn't be surprised if you could, but all I know is you can get it before doing all that and it's there. So, And another cat can be found in the warehouse after the tutorial area, like boom. And not only that, there's also one more in the street that you don't find until after the tutorial, or it's not there, I should say. And it should be right up here. Wow, this was really hard to see. Right in the middle of here. Boom. Cat is right here. Okay, so the next ones can be found in Akiba. Uh, you got this one right in the top here, not far from where, where I am. Boom. Then you've got two more just down the street, one on the floor and one by this poster. Then we have one, of course, in the cat area. Uh, if we skip, you could just about see it on the shelf here. Now let's quickly head to the maid cafe, or cat maid cafe I guess, and you can see one already, boom. A quick update for the cat ending as well, it's a good idea to help out the, the this cat lady. Or in the cat cafe, I should say. Okay, so we have more cats to find in this new area. One is quite obviously right on the floor there. The next one, just about to see it on top of this vending machine of sorts, right over here. And then once you enter the club, you have one more on the bar. Boom. Right, we have also another thing that's kind of important for this whole thing is we need to make sure that we don't give her, make her sign. Don't have her sign the contract and say that you will help. Right, and here's uh, another one, and this is gonna be one, like the last one for a while now. So, see you after the suicide forest, in fact. You can just about see the next cat in the shade right here. Boom. 
Now, as you're heading back, after getting uh, back from Suicide Forest, you notice there's one cat up here in Shunjuki that's only here at this time. Then you continue onwards into the sewer. So, and here is the final cat. Now you kind of need to do things in a certain order. First is forget and confront Mena. And this plays out pretty much the same as the normal ending so far as I believe. So now I have to choose. And for this, I'm going to leave Reina and save Tanaka. I don't know if I'm a good person or not. At least, if I could find Tanaka, I could do something to help for once. One good thing. What, what are you saying? I can't save you, Reina. But maybe I could save him. So you leave me here after all. I'm sorry, Reina. You can't. Tanaka said he'll help me. He believed me. You have to believe me too. Help me, please. He wanted to help me. That's why he led you here. Maybe he did. Maybe he was scared like we all are. I couldn't say. Either way, if I don't try and help him, then what was all this for? Why did I suffer like this? Someday I hope you find your answer. And I don't want you to suffer, really. But Naka doesn't have a chance if I don't go find him now. Goodbye, Rainer. <laughs> I was right about you. I was. Oh, that's so sad. Sorry, Rainer. Didn't mean it. I'm just going after the cats. Whoa. Okay. I did all this. Uh, I did all there is to do. I walked away from her. I didn't look back, though I could feel her eyes on me. The light was affected by her misery, and I knew that leaving her there would deepen the shadow. It was too late to atone for what I did to her, but someday I knew I'd come face to face. I'd come face to face punishment for it. I truly wanted to help her, but I couldn't ignore. Uh, Kazuki's presence within the darkness. Up and down, shadows and light. There's nothing here to orientate myself. All I could do is stumble forward. I can still feel the door, but there's something else alongside it. Kazuki, I can't hear him or see him. It's like a memory coming to my head all of its own. Yeah, I can't see the door or anything else in through the darkness. I feel trapped down here forever. Lost like Reina or Tanaka. No. There's a way. The only way to uh, pierce the darkness on my own. But I'm scared to do it. A tool forged in blood and bending the mind, mind to its breaking point has become my last chance to move forward. The story said the mask barrier, the mask bearer could see the door. But I'm not the mask barrier, uh, bearer. If I were it, I would have to accept. I would have to accept the consequences. Touch it alone. Touching it alone almost drove me mad. What strain would weighing it put on my mind? I could turn back and try and find the surface with what little of my sanity I have left. Choice is simple: turn to light or descend deep in the darkness. I don't really have much choice. Looks like I wear the mask. Looks like the mask can change his expression. Whoa. This is some weird stuffs. It 
touch the door. It's very bright, actually. As soon as I put my hand in the door, it's like the rug was pulled up from under me. Someone or something wants me to stay away from it. And it's driving me somewhere else. Last few weeks, I've seen memories of that weren't my own. Talked to the dead, gone to places I couldn't, that couldn't exist. I'm ready for anything. Or so I thought. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm not, I am a... Oh good. Now you can talk. What do you mean? You can always talk. Hold on, again, this is another trick. Raina is trying to get me lost again. No, that's exactly the opposite of what we want. Th then, let me go. Uh, Kazuki was so close, I could find him. I'm afraid I can't do that. The man you know as Kazuki Tanaka has gone, has been gone a long time. <laughs> You're just saying that because you didn't like him. You always scratch him and, and... And I'm talking to my cat. <laughs> Most people would be grateful for the chance. Sorry, but can you blame me? You should be thanking me for bringing you here. Uh, which is where exactly? It's not the door, is it? No, this place isn't meant for your kind. My kind? You mean humans? Exactly! You would have destroyed yourself by entering it. I saved you. Welcome to Nico Gari. <laughs> Niko Gami Shrine. Place for lost cats. You're welcome here. Huh? Wait. Shrine for lost cats? Is that so surprising? We've watched over your kind for generations. <laughs> they used to worship us in ancient Egypt. Worship! <laughs> Yet, yeah. when I used to meow at the one called Tanaka, he ignored me. He did not treat me with the reverence of our noble, uh, the reverence our noble kind uh, deserves. You should scratch the living room, the living hell out of him, for his insolence. <laughs> Nya ha ha. Um, excuse me. Why not? You're safe here. But but I didn't. This is I. Are you sure? Instead of seeking the truth, you sought distraction. We're not so different, you and I. You too cannot resist the elude of, uh, Manki Nico. That said, you're quite some lengths to find them all. But there was, for you, they're your favorite, right? Yes, they may bring me great pleasure. Did you not find it strange they kept coming, <laughs> to be kept coming across them? Only, you left them for me to find. Didn't you? Every day I saw you suffer through so much pain, so much sorrow. You didn't want that. You wanted a distraction. So I gave it to uh, you a way out. A distraction? I can't deny that finding them gave me something to think about other than Kazuki and Reina, but don't worry. It's our duty to protect those who are lost and alone. However, finding them might be Nico would not have been enough to offer you safe haven. But you, I am a Ito, have proven yourself worthy. Uh prove myself how exactly? Oh, hey, Tomo. <laughs> I was formed by an associate of the good deeds. You saved him and his brothers from this 
uh, servitude. Uh, delivering them into a loving embrace of a woman with the uh, with the the loving embrace of a woman with the colorful arms. Servitude. Uh, <laughs> I mean the cat cafe. Guess her idea of a cat care was a little new age, but but nothing. We are meant to be revered and petted and loved, <laughs> not uh, pandered around for the public amusement of a, and the human's profit. Guess Gazumi went and shut the place down after all, but the cats in the cafe were safe. My goodness, see, I was fine regardless of which option I picked. Whoa, I feel a little tired all of a sudden. Come, have a seat. But. I should, I should, I think I will sit down. All this time, I've been using up the last of my energy trying to find Kazuki. I think it caught up to me. Yes, rest, Ima. Been so long since you let yourself rest. That's true. Wasn't I looking for someone? Someone long gone. Oh. It's nice down here. So peaceful. Why don't you stay a while? Stay? Yes. Yes, I think I'd like that. There's always peace and light here. Here there's no reason to be afraid. Are you sure there's nothing I've forgotten? Nothing important. Now, sleep. Sleep and forget the world above, my sweet Ayama. Ayami. That's actually kind of terrifying. <laughs> like, the whole... I guess that's like their joke ending. <laughs> and my word is it terrifying. <laughs> the cats have way too much power and they're basically strong armed her and hypnotized her into forgetting about her troubles. I mean I suppose it's nice and happy and all in a way, kinda. But man. <laughs> Is it a bit terrifying at the same time? I wonder what the collector and the historian have to say about that. That said, this turn of events was most peculiar. <laughs> yes, yeah, so um, I was uh, unanticipated. I can't help but wonder if it was a great deal of human behavior may have affected by uh, other forces. Indeed, perhaps we are we have a thing or two yet to learn. <laughs> oh <laughs> Now boys, there's no need to be so melodramatic. Gah! Where the hell did you come from? Shoo! Shoo! We're gone. How rude. I never did like animals. Too unpredictable. Time is not a thing. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha